Computer vision can be used in many different industries, areas, and also sectors. And this right here, we're going to talk about how AI and computer vision can be used in retail. So it could be your shopping experience that could be enhanced. It could also just be how you run your stores, do monitoring, pretty much whatever you can do in the retail space. So how can we go in and get better customer experience using computer vision? So it's a pretty large space. It covers a wide range of both areas, but also ways that you can utilize computer vision, whether you want to like have try on. So before you buy a product, you can actually like do a virtual overlay with computer vision. Could also be that you want to manage like large volumes. Could be that you have a store where you want to do monitoring. Could be you have retail store, malls and so on, where you want to do traffic analysis, see where are people moving, do some monitoring and so on, on top of that. So when we're talking about computer vision and real tail. We have this blog post. You can go and read more details about it. We have all the blog posts as well on the Lakes website. So definitely check those out. We cover pretty much everything in computer vision space, but we also create these videos around the blog post just to cover different areas and also use cases, practical use cases of computer vision and how it can be used in the real world. So one very good use case and application for computer vision in retail is inventory management. So let's say that you have a physical store, you can even use it for like digital stores and so on as well. Could be that you want to detect different things, could be that you want to do something with your product images, you want to apply computer vision, deep learning on top of that, virtual try-ons and so on, where you detect the face. Maybe if you have a sunglass store, you want to have your sunglasses where people can basically just try it on before they buy it. Then you can use computer vision to detect the face, you have the sunglasses that you're selling and so on as well. We need to get a very good model of the face to do a nice overlay. Then we can have these personalized try-ons, all these nice customer experiences before we act like sell the product. Another very good application is cashierless stores. So you're probably trying out the self-checkout systems and so on. Most often, if you look at those systems, when you go to the supermarket next time, go to the market and you go to the self-checkout, maybe check above if there's a camera above the cashier or whatever system that you're using. Most of the systems that I've seen, they actually like have a camera sitting on top of it and detecting these items that you have. So you actually like take it from one side to the other side. That's also why you have to place it on like the side trays. Then it actually goes in, does Autolytics update detection or some other update detection model, but you can use Autolytics for this. And it's a very good model. We have videos like covering every single aspect, how you can generate data, even for retail stores as well label it, train your own custom models and apply these use cases on top of it. But here we can actually see a very nice example of all different objects that we're detecting. Eggs, cherry, snacks, coupon crumbers and so on. So we can have a wide variety of classes that we can detect. Then you can count the number of items that you have. What is it doing? Like a customer is moving it around. Is it placed at wrong locations? You can even set up like your retail store. So you detect all the shelves, all the storage and so on for inventory management. You can combine it with cashierless stores as well. So let's say that you're running out of items, you need to restock and so on. Then you can have computer vision systems monitoring that. We already covered a bit about virtual mirrors. So basically just having try on systems before you buy the products. This is a very nice one if you have a digital store but could even be a pretty nice use case if you have a physical store as well. One of the other cool use cases is retail security and just theft prevention, because when we detect the objects, we can then see how are people moving around the objects? Are they putting it in the basket at the checkout? Are they actually like scanning all the items or do they put them in the back instead of on the tray on the side of the system? So this is a really cool, cool one, but also just customer behavior analysis in general. Could be that you want to see and track how many people are going in and out of your store, how are they moving around in the store. You can generate a heat map. So you just need a few cameras and so on. One of the main limits and downsides with act like having these retail analysis systems is that you often like rent your shops, your spaces and so on, where you have your business running. So it's hard to set up like whole camera systems, hardware systems and so on. So that's why Autolytics is a very good way to use because you can have your YOLO model, YOLO 11, all these models running on a lightweight system. You just need a few cameras. You can have a small S device processing. We have videos covering them. So let's say that you combine a few cameras that you can set up yourself, and then you have like a very small processing unit, run the Autolytics models on top of that, and then you can basically move your system around. It's lightweight, easy to set up, install and so on, and you don't really need like 
going too deep into the details, like having large hardware setups and so on in rented spaces. So this is a pretty cool use case as well. You can track how people are moving around, how can I optimize my store and all that, depending on where are people the most, where are people spending the most time in my store and so on. Then I can probably put more products there that I want to sell. So this is pretty cool that we can use computer vision in retail as well. And it's probably one of the best sectors and industries where you can use computer vision and actually get something up and running fairly quickly. Of course, there's both pros and cons of using computer vision in retail. Some of the pros is actually like enhanced efficiency. You can just make it more efficient if you actually like have a system that can go in and digitize some of the stuff that's going on that you can monitor on a day to day basis or basically just have all these parameters, all these effects here coming together so you can make business decisions based on that. Improved customer experiences is just so much better. You've probably tried it if you want to buy new shoes, sunglasses or whatever. They have these try on systems, which is very cool if you just want to buy the products online or you just want to see which one fits you the best. So longer term, it can have cost statements. Of course, there's an implementation cost, which is one of the cons or the consequences privacy concerns and so on as well. But if you're detecting faces, if you're detecting people and so on, you can just detect the faces, apply blurring on top of that and so on for the privacy concerns. So there's of course some implementation cost upfront, but it can be a very nice cost saving over time. You've also been able to get real time insights into your business, how are people moving around, how's the optics going back and forth. But then again, you can create these cashier list systems where you just have update detection models running so this is pretty cool definitely go in check it out if you have any cool use case and so on drop it down in the comment section for sure test it out with analytics models this can be used in so many different areas in the retail space and make sure next time you go to the supermarket and buy groceries check if there's a camera above you or somewhere else where you act like have the cashier list system Try to see it, even if you make some errors and so on, it might go in and detect it and so on. Sometimes you get like a red alert, they have to come and act like accept it, do some stuff on the screen and so on, but that's most likely a camera detecting something above you. Make sure to check that out and then I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.